The 50th anniversary gala for the Babe Ruth Museum was held on January 29, 2024. Here are the few of the sports stars that made an appearance. Here, Gary, but I, I, I'd like to get your thoughts. Uh, what would it be like to still be around navigating, you know, NILs and transfers and everything that coaches are dealing with today? Governor Ehrlich and I were just talking about that. Uh, I'd hire the governor to run the NIL thing. There you go. <laughs> that can, that can be great Field that. coach. It's a different game. Uh, it's, you know, and there's errors in all sports. Uh, you know, if you're a former football player, former basketball player, when you play, you can only be as good as you're getting ready for their 33rd season at Oriole Park at Camden Yards. Uh, it, it sure has passed the test of time. Well, almost. I, I must say that was maybe the biggest challenge that I felt emotionally when we were working on this. Um, Larry Lucchino, who is the president and CEO of the Orioles, um, had this idea of doing an old-fashioned ballpark with modern amenities. If I've said it once, I've said it like a million times. Um, and his idea was to look back at Ebbets Field, Fenway Park. The 2000 Raven team that won the first uh, Super Bowl. The defensive coordinator was Marvin Lewis. Jermaine was the special team star slot receiver. That Ray Lewis guy was pretty good by then. Yeah. And Jamal Lewis was a rookie that year and ran for like 1,200 yards. It was Lewis show, right? Then. Yeah, I was pretty proud of that stat. You know, just, you know, yeah. talk. Yeah. You know, talk trash about people. A lot of people feel like, Jamal? Oh, I'm like, nah, yeah, Jermaine. No, Jermaine. <laughs> I'm the king of